Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to All About That French. I'm Karen and admittedly it has been a while since I've talked to you. Um, I apologize for that. Um, some personal stuff in life has gotten in the way and, uh, and well here I am. Um, I think I'm a little stronger than I was last time I saw you though, so that's a good thing. Um, and I am wearing Cushy Kamana by Beltras in Sumptuous Strawberry, which is a color I absolutely love. Let me pull her around front here so that you can just see how nice and long she is. Um, she's beautiful. I've wanted this one for a while now. Um, and I've seen people in her and um, I don't know, I guess I wasn't sure how it would look on me, even though I have Columbia and I straightened Columbia in this color. Um, but I just got out of a, a teaching class, out of a Zoom um, class, and um, she was comfortable and looked good through the whole thing. And I just have to kind of like work a little with the part here and, and just kind of um, put a little water on her, a little bit of, little bit of maybe my, um, my airbrush just to kind of get some of the bends from being in the box off of her. But I, I pulled her out of the box, I don't know, about 10 minutes before my class started, put on my wig grip, put her on my head, gave her a quick little comb, um, ran my fingers through her to make her look a little bit more natural. And here we go. Um, but I'm really loving her. I think she's great. She feels really light. And um, right now it's a beautiful day here in New England. Um, but we've had some warm days. Um, and this is, you know, Beltrus fibers are very low density um, and they are, you know, just very, very light um, weight. I could probably, I'm going to try to look here. Oh yeah, look at those. I didn't even get a chance to play with her yet. Look at those really pretty wispies. So I could probably take her, get a little bit of this more behind my ears a little bit more. Oh yeah, look at that, look at that. And I could probably give her a little twist. And if I had a clamp with me, oh, she will make an adorable little, little updo. Ah, dream hair, dream hair. Um, yeah, liking that. All right, let's talk about some other things for a few minutes. Uh, because you know that I don't just show you my hair. Um, I tend to talk about a few other things. And uh, you may be wondering what drove me to be back on YouTube today. I don't know, I'd probably have to go back and listen, watch, um, look at several of my other videos that I've done before. Um, but I feel like I know that there's one where I was wearing Jones and chocolate smoke um, in particular, where I might've been talking about being nice to each other and kindness. Um, there's another one in there where I talked about joy and not letting other people steal your joy. Um, gosh, there's so much going on in the world right now. There's so much painful stuff going on in the world right now. And if you're at all like me, um, you feel it and you feel it deeply and you have a lot of empathy. You might be angry at people who are hurting other people. Um, you might feel helpless. Um, you might feel like this cycle is never going to end and, and, and we're never going to get it. Um, you might worry about yourself and your family because there are people who buy into hateful ideologies and go out and hurt other people. Um, I still believe that we are inherently good as humans and, and that that we're meant to be kind to each other, that we're meant to help each other, um, that we're not meant to be hurting each other. And recently, um, the wig world, again, has, has faced another real assault, um, where instead of this being like a safe place for people to come to, 
it's a place where, you know, scammers show up, take advantage of people. Um, there was another big one recently. And then uh, there's a person out there. Um, I posted her on my private page. And if you want to PM me, I'm happy to share that information with you. Um, who is going under um, the name of an outreach that is a entitled by a color that is also a fruit um, and saying that that outreach is connected to in some way some of the very credible outreaches out there that help get helper hair onto heads that need them um, for people who can't otherwise do that for themselves with very difficult time doing that for themselves. Um, seriously? And, you know, I know that there are always multiple perspectives. But what's your perspective that it's okay to use somebody else? in order to obtain valuable property from people who may have had a difficult time obtaining it themselves in the first place, who want to be charitable and help other people in their situation, and then using other people's credibility in order to appear credible yourself. I said this to the scammers. If the person who's doing this is listening or anybody like you, get yourself some help. Get yourself some therapeutic help. Because there is, there is something, some need that is not being fulfilled in you that you would, you would do that sort of thing. The other thing is, it's just wrong to get pleasure out of being hurtful to other people. And especially kicking people when they're down and they're and they're sick and they're, you know, they're 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 just trying to get strong and spend their energy doing things to help other people. Or maybe they've had a recent family loss and, and you're and you're taking advantage of them while they're not looking. Are you kidding me? So um, when things happen, like that are happening in the world right now, like this war in Ukraine, like a shortage of freaking baby formula, like scammers, like people getting shot going to the grocery store or going to school or going to places of worship, like Stealing from sick people? You need to be able to have a place that you feel empowered and that you, you feel like is safe and, and you feel like you have a voice. And I hope that those of you who are part of All About That Fringe feel those things because that's important to me to create. Um, it's important to me and my admin team. See, I said it right the first time. Um, that we're super, super careful about our group membership. Um, you know, anybody can come on to the public page, um, but we want to make sure that people are being nice to each other. Otherwise, bye-bye. And, um, you know, I want to kind of maybe encourage you to use your voice and, you know, when things happen in the world, you're able to like make some decisions about where your votes go. You make some decision about who you write letters to, who you make phone calls to, who you advocate for, who you help, who you donate to. Because you're good people, right? And, and I wanna say that the people who are doing harmful things somewhere under there, there are good people that need to come on out and understand that you can be better than this. Well, Blue is snoring. 
I have a little break before now in my next meeting. So I think I'm going to go ahead and just get away from the computer screen for a few minutes. And then I'll post this later. Thanks for listening. I know a lot of times I talk about things that aren't just hair. Um, but check back. I've got some surprises coming up. Um, you might have a guest or two come and join me. And I have a few requests to talk about some things. So as I'm starting to feel just a little bit stronger, I'll be back. And um, I'll be chatting with you a little bit more. Thanks for following. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And um, I'll see you on All About That French on Facebook or on Instagram. I think I have like I don't know, eight or 10 pictures posted. I should post this, she's cute, right? Um, oh, and uh, I got her at Wig Studio One on clearance. On clearance! So whether she was an overstock or somebody decided to give her back, thank you, love her. Bye everybody.